Hi, today we will make this. Let's have a look at sponsor of this video, Invato Elements. You can find pre-made designs and graphics assets that are ready to use in your projects. Made by experienced professionals in the market. From website designs to music albums to application mockups to lyric video and to god knows what because it is a very huge graphics library in the world. Check out now and have fun. Back to our tutorial. Here I have typed down the lyrics with basic fade in and out. Let's focus on fancy things this time. Please watch my previous videos, if you don't know how to type lyrics. I have made a whole playlist containing all my lyric tutorials in one place. Typing part is super basic, anyway let me play. As you can see it was very simple. For that waving effect I just put a wave warp on an adjustment layer above text. Like this. Put some values in wave width and height and you are good to go. Alright, now select all layers except the audio. And pre-compose them. While your layer is selected, draw a mask using rectangle tool. Basically cutting the text in one of the three parts. Then add some feather to your mask, in order to fade it. And duplicate this layer. Put a fill effect on duplicate layer to choose a color. Now move the mask slightly down. It's already starting to look good. Duplicate this layer one more time. Change this to a lighter color. Then move the mask down a bit further. Alright, now I will put a rough and edges effect on the third layer. Put these values in this. Offset property will be used to animate the effect. Before that I will increase the mask area. Then adjust the values to fit it better. Just play around there's no exact value. After that, animate the offset by adding keyframes. Go forward a bit, and change the value, to add a second keyframe.
push this keyframe where the layer ends. Adjust the mask again if needed. I'm just experimenting with presets and values. Duplicate this layer as a backup, and try some other values on the duplicate. After that duplicate the layer once again, and rename it as smoke. Change the fill color to gray, and put it below all the layers. You can edit its offset keyframes, if you want randomized movement otherwise it isn't necessary. Increase the scale so it's not glued to the text anymore. I will delete this layer, text looks good without it. You can also change the color theme if you want. For example you can choose a poison theme, which is basically green and purple color, or a snow theme which is blue and white, and so on. Now select these layers and pre-compose them. Make an adjustment layer, name it as glow. Then put a glow effect to it. I will put a deep glow which is a third party effect, and is very good. You can put any glow, that is available to you. Double click the pre-compose layer, to navigate to the other layers. Here put a turbulent displace effect to your smoke layer. Edit some values to make it random. Now head back to your main composition. It looks nice. Alright now duplicate the layer. Decrease the opacity of the bottom layer. Rotate it a little bit. And increase the scale. Then put a fast blur effect to it. If you don't have it in newer version of Adobe After Effects, then you can use any kind of blur that you have. I use an older version, because it's better than newer ones. Then lastly you can put a particle overlay on top of it. Particle overlays can be found on YouTube. Majority of them are free to use. Just put them at the top and set the blending mode to screen to make them transparent. Also this texture you see here. It is just another duplicate of the smoke layer, but scaled up to a higher size, with different colors. I hope you learned something new. Really appreciate if you've managed to watch it till now. We'll be back with more cool tutorials.